So I wrote a scheme in Rust. I've never done a lightning talk with live coding in it before, so I'm just going to dive right into it. This is, uh, this is scheme. It's a language that has lots of parentheses in it. And I have uh, th this file amb.scheme, which is like 10 lines of scheme. Um, and you call this function amb, and it's cut off so you can't see what that is doing. Um, oops. No. There we go. Yeah. So you call amb and uh, give it some arguments. And as you can see, it just returns the first argument. Right? So if I uh, define a variable and call it with a bunch of arguments, then the value of the variable is whatever. Um, and then if, there's, another, there's another function in this, in this library called require. So if I require x to be greater than 2, then the value of x is uh, 3. Got it? OK. What? Yeah, OK, all right. Um, so I, I'll do one more example just to like make sure everybody's got this concept, right? If I uh, define a function called digit, like you call it with no arguments and it returns a digit, which is like this, right? Uh, then I could say, all right, make x a digit and make y be a digit. And then we've got these two numbers, right? Uh, and then if I require that the product of x and y be equal to like 24, then that happens, right? And then uh, if I require x to be greater than y, then that happens, right? Uh, you get the idea. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> so to explain how this works, I need to talk a little bit about quantum bogo sort. Um, <coughs> which is this algorithm. It's not an algorithm you would run on a quantum computer. Instead, it like, uses the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics to like, make a better sorting algorithm. One, you take the list of values that you want to sort and you just like, shuffle them randomly, um, which divides the universe into O of n factorial universes. That's just a thing that happens. Um, and then if the list is not sorted, you destroy the universe. Um, <laughs> Uh, and then if you survive, then your list is sorted. <laughs> um, okay, so, so the other thing you need to understand is continuations. I like, think I have like two minutes left. Um, the continuation is, um, it's uh, so scheme. All right, so when you capture the continuation of your program, it's like taking a snapshot of your stack. Right? So you think of the stack as the call chain, like how did we get here? But what the stack really is, is it's the future of your program. It's what happens after the current function returns. Where is it going next, right? And then after that, and after that, the continuation of your program, right? So the stack, uh, or the future, that's what a continuation is in Scheme. And Scheme just has a, just a built-in function that grabs that. Um, and it's useful for things like uh, breaking out of a loop or uh, implementing exceptions, because in, you know, in a language that doesn't have syntax or like, Keywords, right? And that, that's a that's a uh, you have to do that somehow, and you, they do they can you can do it with continuations. Um, this is too powerful to actually be useful in practice because it's just like too mind bending to use correctly. Um, but it, coupled with the ability to destroy the universe, it is a lot of fun. Uh, so now I have to explain in one minute how this actually works um, without speaker notes. So basically, uh, the amp function splits the universe into many universes. It creates one universe for each argument that you pass to it. And then the require function, it just takes a Boolean, right? Any Boolean value, right? And if that Boolean is false, destroys the universe. And it does that, right, by invoking a previously captured continuation, right? It, which, which, uh, which basically just like clobbers the current state of the program and replaces it with the previously captured continuation. You can, like jump back in time and you redo it. And then the rest of it um, is just this like crazily hairy um, custom hand coded REPL uh, that uses stupid VT100 escape sequences to like go back and erase everything that you did in the meantime. <laughs> um, so if you uh, uh, have a terribly important practical use for this, uh, Please be careful, because if there's a bug and there are actually no solutions to your problem, you will destroy all the universes. We don't want that. Um, but here's where you can find the, uh, the uh, source code. Um, and if you want to know more about AMB or more about Scheme in general, this is the book to grab. Um, it gets like kind of philosophical. It's nice that way. Uh, and it's got a lot of beautiful stuff in it that I had forgotten was there. Okay. Phew.